So in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can send AIS information to apps such as Navionics wirelessly using OpenPlotter. As you can see here, we've now got AIS targets within the Navionics app. You can see here in OpenCPN the AIS targets. So for Navionics, the data needs to be in the NMEA 0183 format. So first of all, we need to head to the plugins and enable this plugin. If you haven't got this, you'll need to download it. It'll be available in the App Store. Once the plugin is installed, select the relevant information. For me, I want to send the depth below transducer because Navionics is also able to display that. And I've tried to send a couple more bits of information. However, Navionics hasn't been able to display that. Once you've made your selection, press submit and the plugin will start to convert that data back. Clicking on data connection shows that the AIS information is already in the correct format. So you don't need to do anything else to get this information now across. Now you'll need to set the network part of your Raspberry Pi up. This means that the Raspberry Pi acts as a, as a Wi-Fi device or a Wi-Fi sending device for you to connect to it. So it'll broadcast this information out. You set it up basically like an access point um, in the network settings. Select the onboard Wi-Fi card and then this gives you options to create an SSID and a password. You can use 5 GHz if you want or you can stick to 2.4. Just remember that on 2.4 there's only three channels that are available. That's 1, 6 and 11. Everything else will overlap. 5 GHz has more channels but it doesn't travel as far. It's less affected by interference as well. So you're going to need to create yourself an SSID. This is what you connect to the Pi as. So when you see the network like you would at home, this is what you're going to actually connect to. So I've called mine Pi and I've given it a password. The address and ports tab is quite useful to show what information is being sent out of the Pi on what port and what network IP address. The information highlighted here is what I'm going to use in the Navionics app to connect my phone or other device to the Raspberry Pi and to pull the NME data from the Raspberry Pi. So just a couple of things to note then now, the Pi isn't actually connected to the internet anymore or to your Marina Wi-Fi or to whatever it was connected, it's acting as a standalone access point. Um, so if you need to update anything or connect anything back to the internet, you're going to have to roll back the network settings so that you can connect to your Marina Wi-Fi or to a 4G hotspot. So now you need to connect your device to the Pi. Head over to the network setting and look for the SSID you've just created. In my case, it was called Pi, so I'm now connecting to this. In the app that you want to receive that information, you're going to need to add the host name and port information that we highlighted earlier. As you can see here, uh, under Navionics, it's paired devices. My device picked up the depth and the AIS targets and instantly started an alarm. Targets will shortly appear on the map and you can click on them for more information. You can also see at the top of the display here, the depth is now being shown. Now that your Pi is set up as a Wi-Fi transmitter, you can go back to the settings and send different information to suit your requirements.